President Trump, in a speech to the nation tonight, will cast the situation at the southern border as a crisis. Both designed to highlight what the president calls a humanitarian and national security crisis. President Trump warning he might declare a national emergency going around Congress to get his border wall built. We're looking at a national emergency because we have a national emergency. Vice President Pence says no decision has been made so far. Terrorism. We have terrorists coming through the southern border because they find that's probably the easiest place to come through. We know that roughly nearly 4,000 known or suspected terrorists come into our country illegally. Anchor and executive editor of Special Report, Brett Baer, Happy New Year. Great to Happy see you. Year, Can you we start with a prime time address? Brett, why do that? And what does the president need to say to the American public on the subject of the wall? Well, listen, we're hearing that he's going to ask for time, and that's significant because you usually don't do that unless you have something important to say. Um, networks don't give the time unless they're told it's something of national importance. Uh, and so it, it could be that he is going to declare the national emergency he's talked about uh, to get the wall done. It could be that he's going to throw out some other compromise uh, to Democrats. Harris, the, the timeline here is interesting because internally the next real deadline is Thursday night because the next paychecks go out uh, yeah. are drafted on Friday. Mm -hmm. And that's really the paycheck that counts because they've been paid through the holidays, all the federal workers, and it comes to an end this week, at the end of the week, that's when the next paychecks go out. So uh, look for some intensity, and I think you're seeing from the president asking for time, going to the border on Thursday, suggesting to put the pressure on that wide. That yeah, side. and so December 28th, I think, was the last pay period, and so this Thursday is that pressure point. But, you know, I've been asking for the better part of an hour and a half now, is any of this about money? And would it be a big difference if we didn't actually have to go to the government and taxpayers for this money? We wouldn't be shutting anything down if there could be some deal struck with Mexico. A key component, according to the president, when he was negotiating for votes in 2016. Right. It's not really about money. It's all about politics and about, uh, you heard the congressman, uh, who gets the W. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of components to this ask from the administration about border security. I mean, there are judges, uh, there are law enforcement personnel, there are mm -hmm. humanitarian needs. I mean, there's a whole list of things that go beyond the wall. And when you have the Washington Post and others characterizing the border situation as a crisis, mm -hmm. uh, I think you've stepped it up to a different level. It's not a made-up thing. It's happening along the border. Let's talk about the crisis, if we can. You know, you remember just three or four summers ago during the Obama administration when we had north of 90,000 unaccompanied minors coming across our southern border. That was a crisis. We didn't see that president go to the border. How important is it? And, and I know that there's a battle going on over, over can we get the government open? But how important is it to know that members of his administration, including himself now, will visit the border? I think it's symbolic, Harris. It's, a, it's going to be an image. It'll be, uh, he obviously has put a ton of importance on it as a candidate, as president, has not backed away from it. Um, however, there are deals to be made mm -hmm. about uh, how to get the security that you want along the border. And whether you call it steel slats or you call it a wall, uh, the bottom line is that something has to change along the border and something has to change, more importantly, on immigration policy, that there are several loopholes that uh, could, could be fixed by Congress if they so cho chose. A lot different with a Democratic uh, control of the House, and that's where the horse trading has to happen. President Obama, and I only use this because it's the most recent example of executive order with regard to this issue that was, I mean, it was a huge newsmaker at the time and continues to be on DACA, executive fiat to get that uh, for those dreamers. And that's part of the battle over the last year or so. Is there a certain risk that a president takes when he steps in with executive order, executive presentation here, um, or is it just one of those things that's baked into executive powers? There's a risk. I mean, it can get challenged and it can get overturned. And uh, you've seen that. You've seen that uh, with some of the president's actions early on. This president, mm -hmm. uh, President Obama, obviously, uh, it was challenged um, and then was appealed. Mm -hmm. uh, now there's 
you know, it's likely going to go on the DACA issue all the way to the Supreme Court. And you heard the president talking about that with reporters in the Rose Garden uh, last week. I think they, they want some resolution to that because they believe that a deal can be made with Congress on that front. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it earlier. There was already a negotiation that really was close the last time when yeah. it came to Dreamers and it came to border security. Um, but frankly, we are always one election away from solving the big mm. issues. And Democrats, I think most people in this town, wanted the issue. Uh, and they wanted the issue on, on, uh, on the election. Wow. They got to get out of that town, talk to some real people every now and then, I guess, uh, and really figure out what the issues are, because a lot of people are waiting to see what's going to happen. Some of them are not going to get their paychecks on Thursday, potentially. Primetime address, though, coming up from the president. And we have Brett Baer in the meantime, each night at 6 p.m. Eastern for a special report. Thank you. Thanks, President sir. Trump, the most unconventional of presidents, will speak from a very familiar setting tonight to rally public support. He'll make a primetime televised speech from the Oval Office. He will try to convince voters that there is an urgent national crisis along the southern border, and building a wall is the way to solve it. The standoff between the president and Democratic leaders over that wall has shut down parts of the government for 18 days. Democrats are demanding equal airtime to respond to the president's speech. CBS News will carry their response. Paula Reed is at the White House with what the president is expected to say. Paula, good morning. Good morning. In his address, President Trump will argue that the situation along the southern border is a humanitarian and security crisis that requires immediate action. He is demanding $5.7 billion to build his border wall. But Democrats have already said they will not provide any funding for a wall, and there appears to be no compromise in sight. So the president is considering whether to declare a national emergency, which could allow him to use military funds to construct the wall. But Democrats have vowed to fight any attempts to bypass Congress with legal challenges. They also allege that if the president's past statements are any indication, his address tonight will be full of, quote, misinformation and malice. And all of this is happening as 800,000 federal workers face the possibility of missing their first paycheck this week. But the president will continue his public push for a wall when he visits the southern border on Thursday. Gail. Thank you very much, Paul.